Hey guys, Shobi here. Today let us take a look into Django's default authentication system. For a typical web application, at some point of time, we need an authentication system. Being a batteries included framework, Django comes with an authentication system. So let us take a look into that today. So let us start a project. Uh, let me create a new project folder. Let us create a virtual environment. Let us activate the environment. Uh, let's make a let's install Django. So let us create a project, Django admin. Oops, admin start project. Let us cd into it. Let's run the server. Let us visit the site. Ah, sorry, server got stopped. Yeah, now we have a successful installation. So let us take a look into the authentication. So let us open the settings.py in auth settings.py. Now auth is a part of our installed applications. So let us define some URLs first. So first of all, we need a login URL. So auth login for login logout there are default views comes with django but the thing is that we have to define the templates so let us import those views here import django for country dot import import from sorry from import views as of views so both views dot login view dot as view and then we need to give a template name template name equal to login dot html so let us visit the terminal here yeah. now let us visit so it says template does not exist at login so it is saying that django was not able to find the template login.html so let us create a template for it uh, let us create a new folder here directory templates the file login dot so let me quickly create a template here still it is saying template does not exist the reason is that we have to tell django that where our templates are located so let us specify the template path in the settings.py so open your settings.py and here you will be finding a template section in which the directories for now it is empty now we need to specify the location of our templates so first of all 
in your Django application, you should be able to find this constant here, which is based base directory. And then we need to append our applications template path. So let us go to the template section. Templates there. So OS dot path dot join base dir comma auth slash templates which means our application which is the auth and then the templates so if we save it see the server it's fine now you can see the empty login page now we need the username and password entry form so let us do that here open your log template file login.html when you use the login view as you have seen here when you use the login view it by default injects a form variable into the template so we can simply use that to login to our application so for now type form as p let us see that now you can see username and password fields are here now we need the submit button and other steps but if you look into the source you can see this is just a paragraph tag we need the form tag and other stuffs and moreover it is present inside the h1 so let us clear up the html part a bit Now let us begin building our form. form. Method is equal to post. And then we need the CSRF field. And then form as and then let us have our submit button button type go to submit login yes we are ready to go let me save this so let us visit the new login page here it is now username and password so let us try to login but the thing is that at this point of time we don't have any users and uh, if we try to log in there is no way that the system identifies us so let us try to log in first hello, hello. so it says forbidden failed csr of verification failed so here so here the thing is our csr of verification is failed and i think we i have mistyped the csrf token so let us copy this thing and instead of csrf field use this csrf token we clean this up yes let's visit the login page again try to login and login login so it says no operation error at login no such table both user at this point of time there are no tables exist so that the database is empty so let us try to migrate all our default tables. So let me run python manage.py. I think okay. So let me go into the folder ct auth, which is our project directory. Python manage.py make migrations. So this is the first command make migrations so it says no changes detected then the actual command which will persist the changes in the database yeah it is successful so let me close the terminal for now so let us try the login page again login login so it says please enter a correct username and password note that both fields may be kept sensitive so the thing is it tries to log us in but the thing is that the user does not exist in the database at this point of time 
So let us create a user from the command line for now. So let's try creating a super user. Let me clear the terminal. Python manage.py create super user. It is asking us for a username. So I'll type shobi mail address me at shobi.in password for now I'll type 12345678 again 12345678 as you can see here also Django provides us much security where it says the password is too common and the password is entirely numeric uh, so it is asking for us to bypass password validation create user anyway for now for this tutorial it is fine but make sure in your application in your actual application make sure you have proper password so now i'll put yes the super user created successfully so let us try to visit the so let us try to use the login feature again show me that's what the username one two three four five six seven eight nine see page not found but the thing is that if you uh, Take a look into the URL page, URL section. You can see it tries to redirect us to the account slash profile page for now, which does not exist. So, how did Django identify that it should redirect to account slash profile? By default, Django redirect redirect us to this URL. But if we want to customize it, go to the settings.py again and then login redirect URL which is equal to I'll say for now uh, dashboard okay at this point of time even the dashboard doesn't exist so let us try to log in again show me into three as you can see it tries to redirect us to dashboard at this point of time this also does not exist so let us create one templates new file so let me quickly create a template here So I have created a dashboard HTML file. Now we need to show this template when the user logs in. So let us go to URL section again. Let us add another path, which is dashboard. And here I will be using a function. Let us views dot dashboard. I forgot to add a comma here. So here it says views is not defined. So let us create that one new file views dot pi dash dashboard. Now we need to render the HTML, which is dashboard.html whenever somebody receives a dashboard URL. So for now import Django dot shortcuts so from Django dot shortcuts import render. Now let's let us simply render the HTML render request. Let us take the request argument request dashboard dot HTML. Now let us visit the dashboard section. It says let us see the server. Views is not defined yet. So let us import that. Or auto the import views. So we have imported the views here, which is this file. Okay. So let us try to visit the dashboard page. Another error. Oops. So here from 
so we are from dot views yes. import dashboard so this is the actual syntax uh, dashboard so it says views didn't this responded with an HTTP response so let us do that to view stored by put a return statement yes dashboard successfully logged in uh, what happened to the title uh, dashboard okay sorry uh, here it would have it should have been title Yes, now we have reached dashboard and successfully logged in. So let us try to have a logout page. URLs, login, path, logout. So if somebody visits this page, it, the user should get logged out. Both views, dot logout view, dot as view. Template name. Logout dot the comma there. Let us create the logout page as well. I'm copying logout HTML logout out. Let's quickly wrap up a logout page. So let us create an anchor tag here. Page okay. login. Let's add a logout link in the dashboard page as well. Logout. Logout here. Logout here. You have been logged out. Please log in to continue. Yes. Actually, at this point of time, our application which enables us to log in and log out users have been completed let's just take a look again so we have the templates login logout and dashboard so after login the guy will be redirected to the dashboard and here i want to make one point at this point of time i am logged out but if i access dashboard directly see it says successfully logged in even though we were in the logged out state so in order to prevent users from accessing paths which they are not allowed we need to add the login required decorator which will prevent users from accessing accessing unallowed paths so let us go to the views where we have defined the dashboard function so i'll say at login required so let me import that as well login required so this will prevent us from accessing this URL but it says page not found but uh, if you check out the URL section you can see it again redirected us to account slash login but where is our login page yeah it's already here but the thing is that we need to tell Django that if a login is required we need to redirect the user to the slash login path rather than the accounts login which django by default provides so come to the login required decorator and the login url is equal to slash login so if i try to access the dashboard so it says you are not logged in login to access the dashboard so if i go to dashboard again it redirects us to login if I login, show me and one, two, three. Yeah, I am logged in. So, this is it, guys. A successful login logout system we have implemented in. Thank you. See you on next video.